Hey everyone, welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. Today we're creating this awesome text animation. It's smooth, dynamic, and looks super professional. Don't worry if you're new to After Effects, I'll guide you through every step, making sure you can follow along easily. Let's roll the intro. All right, let's jump right in. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Name it Text Animation and set it to Full HD Resolution. Now let's create the background. For this, I'm using a dark gray color, but feel free to choose whatever suits your style. Next, grab the text tool and start typing. I'm using the Lust Script font with a size of 206 pixels and a light gray color. If you don't have this font, no worries. I've added a download link in the description. Just click Install and you're good to go. Now comes the fun part. To make the animation dynamic, we need each letter on a separate layer so we can animate them individually. Instead of typing the whole word at once, we'll type each letter separately, placing them on different layers. It might look messy right now, but don't worry, we'll fix that in a second. Now let's align these letters properly so they actually look like a word. Press Ctrl or Command plus R on Mac to bring up the rulers. Then drag a guide from the top and place it where you want your baseline to be. Now select each letter one by one and align them along this guide. This makes sure everything is perfectly in place. If you're happy with it, press Ctrl plus R or Command plus R again to hide the rulers. Finally, center the text properly in the composition so it sits nicely. And there you have it. The setup is complete and we're ready to move on to the best part, animating the text. Let's see how we can do it. First, select the letter, then go to the tools and choose the pen tool. Zoom in so you can clearly see the entire letter, then start creating a mask just like this. Make sure to cover the letter properly, keeping it right in the center so that when we add a stroke effect, it covers the entire shape. Take your time to create a smooth and precise path. Great, this is how it looks now. Next, go to the Effects and Presets panel and search for the Stroke Effect. Drag and drop it onto the layer and make sure the Path option is set to Mask 1. Now change the Paint Style to Reveal Original Image. Increase the brush size until the entire letter is visible. Let's also set the brush hardness to 100%, and I think keeping the brush size around 26 works best here. This is how it looks now. Now, we will use this stroke effect to animate the letter. Make sure you are at the first frame, then add a keyframe to the end property and set the value to 0%. Move to the one second mark and change the end value to 100%. Now press U to reveal all keyframes, select them all, and press F9 to apply Easy Ease. Open the graph editor and adjust the curve to create a smooth animation flow. If your curve looks different, right-click inside the graph editor and choose Edit Speed Graph to match this style. And this is how it looks now. Great, let's add some rotation to it. Select the layer and press R to open the rotation properties. Right now, the anchor point for this layer is placed right here, and I'm going to keep it as it is. However, if you want a different kind of animation, you can move the anchor point anywhere else but for this tutorial, I'll stick with the current placement. Now add a keyframe on the rotation property, then press U to reveal all keyframes, move to the first frame position, and change the rotation value to negative 40 degrees. This is how it looks now. Next, move the second keyframe to this position, then go back to the previous keyframe position and change the rotation value to 16 degrees. It adds a bit more life to the animation instead of keeping it static. Select all keyframes, press F9 to apply Easy Ease. Then open the graph editor and adjust the curve to create a smoother motion. This is how it looks now, much better. Now let's take it a step further and add some position animation. Open the position property and add a keyframe. Again, reveal all keyframes and adjust their placement. At this position, I'm changing the position value to around 580 pixels to create a drop-like effect. 
Of course, these values are just my preference, so feel free to experiment and find a style that works for you. Now grab this keyframe, copy it, and paste it right here to create a bounce animation. Pretty basic, but let's make it more interesting. I'll adjust this last keyframe and position it here, then copy the previous keyframe and paste it right here to create a slight pause before it settles. This small hold makes the movement feel more natural. Select all keyframes, arrange them properly, apply Easy Ease, and adjust the curves in the graph editor. I think I need to tweak the timing a bit, which you can do by dragging the curves in the graph editor. This way, you get more control over the speed and easing. Now let's refine it even further. I'll grab the position keyframes and move them slightly forward so they sync better with the rotation keyframes. This small adjustment makes a big difference in making the movement feel seamless. Now let's add one more element around this letter to enhance the look. Make sure no layers are selected, then go to the tools and select the pen tool. Just a quick note, my fill is set to none and my stroke is set to a solid color. For the stroke, I'm using a width of three pixels. Now create a shape around the letter C. I'm giving it this kind of look, but if you're working with a different letter, make sure to adjust the shape accordingly. Rename this layer as C outline, then open its properties. Click on add and choose trim paths. Next, open shape one, then stroke one, and change the line cap to round cap. This will make the stroke edges smooth and rounded instead of sharp. Now open trim path properties and we'll animate it using the start and end values. Make sure you're at the first frame, set the end value to 0% and add keyframes to both the start and end properties. Move a few frames forward and change the start and end values to 100%. Now grab the start keyframes and offset them slightly from the end keyframes. This creates a nice stroke animation where the outline gradually appears around the letter. Great, we just need to make sure the stroke moves along with the letter. The easiest way to do this is by parenting the stroke layer to the letter C. If you don't see the parent and link option, just right click in this area, go to columns and enable parent and link. Then grab the pick whip tool and drag it onto the letter C. If you prefer, you can also manually select the letter C from the drop down menu. Now the stroke will follow the letter's movement perfectly. Press U to reveal all keyframes. Move the C outline layer right above the letter C so everything stays neat and easy to manage. Now select all keyframes, press F9 to apply Easy Ease and open the graph editor. Use the Move tool to adjust the curves and create a smoother motion flow. Switch back to the main timeline and take a look. This is how it moves now. Great, let's tweak the timing slightly so the movement feels more natural and dynamic. I think this works well. I notice my stroke looks a bit sharp at the corner, so let's smooth it out. I'll change the stroke width to two pixels to make it thinner and more refined. Fit the view to 100% and now we're ready for the next step. Now I'm going to animate the letter R, but this time we'll use a different method to give it a unique and dynamic look. Since we want each letter to have its own distinct animation, we need to separate this letter into two layers. Let's see how we can do that. Select the letter R, go to the tools and choose the pen tool. Now create a mask around the shape because we're going to split this letter into two different layers for animation. Take your time to create a precise mask that fully covers the letter. It may take a few extra seconds, but the improved accuracy will significantly enhance the final result. Adjust the mask shape like this, perfect. Now select the letter R and duplicate it. Press M to open the mask properties and change the mask mode to subtract. Now, if you toggle the visibility on and off, you'll see that the letter has been split across two layers. 
Let's animate it. First, I'm going to animate the bottom half. So let's open the scale property and unlink the aspect ratio. Let's also solo these layers so we can focus on them without distractions. Now add a keyframe to the scale property and place this keyframe around the one second mark. Then go to the first frame and change the Y scale value to 0%. Right now the animation looks weird, but don't worry, we'll fix it. Let's adjust the keyframes and apply easy ease to them. Also, I'll tweak the graph curves to give it a nice ease in effect. Next, select the top half of the letter R. We need to reposition its anchor point so that it scales up or down from the right spot. Press Y to activate the anchor point tool and place the anchor point right here. Now open the scale property, go to the first frame and add a keyframe. Move this keyframe slightly forward in the timeline. Now at the first frame, change the scale value to 0%. Select both keyframes, move them to the right position, and apply Easy Ease. Adjust the graph curves to create a smooth animation. Switch back to the main timeline, and now we have this nice reveal effect. Hmm, I think the timing needs a little refinement. Let's adjust it. Select the R2 layer, open its position property, and add a keyframe here. Move this keyframe to the right position and increase the Y position value so it moves slightly downward before settling. And this is how it looks now. Select both keyframes, apply Easy Ease, and tweak the graph curves to smooth out the motion. Arrange the timing, and now we have a really nice bouncing effect. Arranging these keyframes might take a bit of time to achieve the perfect look, but trust me, the effort you put in now will pay off by improving your motion design skills in the long run. So let's open all keyframes and fine tune them until we get a perfect look. After adjusting the timing, this is how it looks now. Now let's add a stroke effect to this layer as well. First, make sure no layer is selected, then go to the tools and choose the pen tool. Draw a stroke like this and place it right above the R2 layer. I'll name it R Outline. Since this stroke is placed inside the letter R, I'll change its color to match the background so it blends in naturally. Now parent this stroke layer to the letter R. Open the R Outline layer, click on Add and choose Trim Pass. Open the Trim Pass options and we'll add keyframes to the start and end properties. And this is how it looks. Move the start keyframe slightly away from the end keyframes. Select all keyframes and apply Easy Ease. Now, open stroke one and change the line cap to round cap so the edges of the stroke look smoother. And this is how it looks now. Fit the view to 100%, adjust the timing, and we have a great looking animation. Now I've shown you two different ways to create text animations. You can follow this method or experiment with other styles to complete your animation. That's it for today. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, good luck and peace.